what is up my wolf army my name is Billy and welcome back to Ruby Veil of Darkness in the last episode Ozpin shot us uh, well I mean shot us like gun I mean he launched us from uh, something I'm gonna assume is a trampoline a reverse trampoline or whatever anyway I have been I was recording it for about Two, I was recording it for about five, ten minutes. Then I realized my game. Not only was my mic not turned on, the game crashed. So yeah. And of course, they got the upper hand. So I'm just gonna jump cut right up. So I'm gonna jump cut to where I find Yang and Blake. Spoiler alert, I find Yang, Yang and Blake. I'm not in the I'm not in the mood for holding the spoilers. I'm I'm a bit salty. And here I am back finally. Finally found him. And I am so pissed off. I'm praying that the game won't crash this time. So I'm going to put it in file 2. In case I have to redo everything. Hey, you okay? Who's this? Oh, this is Blake. Me, Ruby, met her yesterday. Nice to meet you. But we should get going. Follow me. And I'm going to save again. And file 3. Please don't let this game crash on me again. I'm going to be so pissed. Nice, I leveled up. Okay, double team. Nice. Please let this finally be it. Alright, I'm just gonna jump cut till I find something. Yes, finally! Ugh, finally. Look, this I think this is it. Their chest pieces? Some of them are missing. Looks like we weren't the first ones here. So I guess we should pick one. Hmm. How about a cute little pony? <laughs> sure. That wasn't too hard. Well, it's not like this place is very hard to find. So, girl's in trouble. Blake, did you hear that? Guys, did you hear that? What should we do? Heads up! And something fell right on me. Ow. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Are you okay? I'll live. Man, you are tough. Did you hear... 
Did your sister just fall from the sky? I... Ah! John? John flies through the sky and lands in a tree. Oh! Oh, okay, 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 okay. So... If I'm able to, I just saw, I just remembered this, uh, okay, there's an, there's a series on YouTube called Ruby Abridged. There's this one scene that always makes me laugh flawlessly. It's where John gets trapped by the Death Stalker and Pyrrha tells him to hold on tight. She pulls out her phone and says, this will make a great wallpaper. <laughs> if I am able to get the clip and the creator says it's okay, I'm going to edit it in, in the video. Jonak does not like the feel of this cave. Feels like we're in one of those teen horror movies where they walk slowly down a dark corridor before they're attacked by something. Well, at least we got a light. Oh, relax, John. Don't you know the rules of horror? Virgin always dies last. Wait, but then shouldn't you be scared because the horror dies first? That wasn't you I just kicked, was it? You tried to kick me? John, try and hang on for just a second. I'll try, just whatever you're going to do, do it fast. Wait, are you getting your phone out? This will make a great wallpaper. You red haired Damn it. Okay, I'm starting to think I'm supposed to let him kill me. I better have been right. You grab her, we run back to the others. Yeah, I think I'm right. I think I was supposed to take a hit. Guys, we... Guys, that thing's circling back. What are we gonna do? Look, there's no sense in dilly-dallying. Our objective is right in front of us. She's right. Our mission is to grab the artifact, head back to the cliff. There's no point in fighting these things. True, but Ozpin said, destroy everything in your path. So, from what that means to me is, everybody get ready to kill shit. And Nora, get out your hammer. Run and live. That's a plan I can get behind. Let's go. Everyone grabs a chest piece and runs. And I'm just going to say this now before I completely forget. I don't own these clips. Monty Oom does. I'm just letting them play so that, so that way my subscribers who have never seen Ruby can. You come to a bridge. Ruby wipes the ink. Blake gets across before it was destroyed by the Nevermore. Damn it, we can't cross. Ah, crap, here it comes. We can win. Right, if we work together, we can win. I'm hoping that's true. There we go. And everybody levels up. I'm level 14. John's level 12. Here is level 12. Everybody gets a level 12. Power up, luck up, or speed up. Uh, yeah, I'm taking the money. Before you can understand the situation, Nora, hit, Nora hits you with their hammer and you land right next to Ruby and the others. And fuck you, Nora! Nice. If you... Ready for some butt kicking? <laughs> Always. That's what I want to hear. Let's end this. Skills. Yes! Finally! Finally! You 
would come up with this idea. Think you can make the shot? Hm. Can I? Can? Of course I can! <laughs> I guess you could say that Nevermore got a haircut. Eh? Wow. Ruby's plan was a success, and y'all head back to Beacon to attend the ceremony. However, you are not allowed to take part due to the team's being even already, so Ozpin told you to report to his office after the ceremony. John R. Lai Ren, Kira Nikos, Nora Valkyrie. The four of you retrieve the White Rook pieces. From this day forward, you will work together as Team Juniper. <laughs> Led by John R. Huh? L Led by? Congratulations, young man. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Blake Belladonna, Ruby Rose. Weiss, Schnee, and Yang Shao Long. The four of you retrieve the White Knight pieces. From this day forward, you will work together as Team Ruby. Led by Ruby Rose. I'm so proud of you! <laughs> it looks like things are shaping up to be an interesting year. Meanwhile, I'm the one stuck in his office. Later, in Ospin's office. I suppose you're wondering why I called you here. Because I'm getting kicked out? No, you're only just starting. You see, every year when I accept students in the Beacon, I make sure the number of students is dividable by four. Except this year is different. You and Ruby were both last minute exceptions. And since both you show amazing skill, I decided to break this rule. The way you performed the Emerald Forest gave me an idea. You'll be a member of your own team. Sorry, but can you explain? Yeah, what do you mean, man? Well, what you did down there in your hometown was extraordinary. You were able to work well with both teams. Most importantly, you gave them hope and lead them to victory. So you will work with... The with both Team Ruby and Team Juniper. If the leaders can't decide what to do, the situation you will step in. The four years you will spend in Beacon will be tough. There will be a great struggle ahead of you. You will be light in their darkness. Do not forget this. Be a friend, not a teammate. So, what do you think? Has... I don't know what to choose. Thank you. That's a lot of... Resp I know it's going to be a lot of responsibility, but... Has this happened before? You know, I'm just going to go with this one. No, you're the first to take this position. Alright, let me explain this to you. You will be managing both Team Ruby and Team Juniper. You can rearrange the members as you see fit, depending on the situation. If you think certain members will work best in it for a mission, you may take them with you. Also, if the leaders can't make decisions, you will make it for them. I do believe that's about it. Oh, one more thing. Are you aware of your semblance? Do you know what it is? It's charging my energy. Yes, but that's not all. Let me explain your semblance is mimicry. You can copy the semblance of anyone you have connection to. That is why you were able to keep up with Ruby. That is why you've also have a natural fighter. You can mimic the moves of others, allowing them to use the weapon and abilities of others after you get to know them. Your friendship with Ruby will be allowed you to copy her. Semblance perfectly. This is a rare ability. Use it well. And I gotta adjust my freaking chair out. <clears throat> Keep it. I've kept you long enough. Enjoy your time here. Make friends. Make friends. Five for what's right. Goodbye. You decide to leave. Well, duh.
everyone's here. I don't want to go. Please don't rob me because I know that ain't too. Why are you here? We came to see you. We were worried when you didn't appear at the ceremony. Yeah, what happened? You explained everything I was been told you. So you're our manager? Hey, I'm glad to have someone to turn to. At least, uh, at least you're not booted from Beacon. So, what's this copying thing? I don't want to say it's kind of like an all-in-one deal, because every semblance has limits. So I'm going to go with, it's my semblance. Well, now we found you. I'm going to bed. Yes, we need a rest for tomorrow. Yeah, I think I'll sleep well tonight. You decide to call night and start classes tomorrow. Today is Monday. You have class today. You sit through the lecture, it seems to last forever. And with that... Holy crap, there's a lot of people. With that, I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you all liked the video. If so, give that like button a little boop on the nose. If you want to see more, punch that subscribe button, drop a comment, and I hope you all have a